Hello, this is Yukio Ishizuka from Lifetrack.com. Today's subject is how to cure borderline personality disorder with Lifetrack therapy. What is borderline personality disorder? According to American Psychiatric Association's diagnostic manual, if a patient fit into five or more of the following characteristics, that we can make the diagnosis of borderline personality disorders. The first one is the excessive fear of rejection and abandonment and unstable interpersonal relationships, low and unstable self-image, impulsivity, suicidal and self-mutilating thoughts and behavior, and intense but short mood swings, usually lasting no more than two or three days, and chronic feelings of emptiness, and explosive anger and paranoid and dissociative experiences during uh, the stressful experience, the feeling as if uh, one is not there under stress. The cause of borderline personality disorders have been hypothesized and researched uh, uh, in different ways, but most of the theories and hypotheses assume multiple causes for borderline personality disorders, making it difficult, if not impossible, to test and prove and disprove any of those hypotheses. Here, I'd like to propose one clinical experience-based description and potential cause of borderline personality disorder, that the patient has had the difficult upbringings, typically poor attachment with their uh, mothers uh, when, when they were infants and that causes infants to become excessively and prematurely self-reliant because they feel that they cannot count on anyone else before they can handle much stress and that results in their growing up with low and unstable self-esteem and have difficulty to trust other people and difficulty to enjoy achievement or gain satisfaction from what they achieve. The tripod of personality is the model of personality that explains how we think, feel, and act in those three spheres that form uh, personality. The self-sphere is the way we think, feel, and act about ourselves, and intimacy is the way the person thinks, feels, and acts in the close relationship of intimacy, such as in marriage or comparable relationship, and achievement sphere uh, represents the way the person thinks, feels, and acts at work or in performing challenging, productive, competitive activities that uh, gives us a sense of satisfaction and meaning in life. In the case of borderline personality uh, disorder, uh, that individuals typically is deprived of being able to be happy with oneself or be, uh, be at peace with oneself. And in intimacy, intimacy sphere, typically borderline personality is threatened by close relationship because that makes them feel vulnerable as they become uh, dependent automatically as they become close to someone. And then achievement sphere, they have difficulty enjoying and particularly experiencing satisfaction from what they achieve. Now then, how to transform borderline personality so that uh, the individuals can overcome the symptoms of those um, borderline personality uh, disorders? In order to do that, we have to take a few steps. The first one is to define personality in such a way so we can measure it repeatedly and consistently, and then graphically track subtle changes in personality via computer and then internet, and then concentrate on making breakthrough in intimacy sphere first, allowing self and achievement spheres to stagnate, absorbing spikes of symptoms uh, until the symptoms diminish by exhaustion, and then uh, self and achievement spheres can recover and uh, converge on intimacy sphere at much higher level. And that process of personality transformation generally goes through four stages. The first stage is when stress is high 
and intimacy is relatively high uh, compared to self and achievement spheres. And second stage, intimacy alone will rise about, about, above a previous maximum of 10, in this case reaching 25, while self and achievement spheres continue to stagnate, occasionally dipping deep, absorbing spikes of symptoms, as you can see, until the symptoms diminish by exhaustion, and then self and achievement begins to rise above previous maximum of 10, eventually converging on intimacy, uh, uh, entering into this stage four, when three spheres continue to rise without um, much of a therapeutic intervention. The Jane was a typical example of borderline personality disorder. Uh, she was a student in her 20s, living with a boyfriend of two years. But she became volatile within months of moving in with her boyfriend, having uh, developed menstrual irregularities, anxiety, panic attacks, explosive anger, depression, and suicidal thoughts, and bouts of irrational violence against her boyfriend, biting, kicking, throwing things at him. Now, Jane's symptoms over the first months of therapy was typical of borderline personality disorder cases. Anxiety is green, blue is anger, physical symptoms pink, and depression red, and psychosis is black. Now, those high spikes of symptoms came suddenly and disappeared just as suddenly, lasting no more than two or three days. Now, during that first month, progress was being made in the intimacy sphere. As she tried to get closer to her boyfriend, spike of symptoms intervened, bringing intimacy down. And, uh, and yet the uh, symptom diminishes. Intimacy recovers quickly to reach a little higher peak than before, repeating the same process, provoking and overcoming waves of symptoms, each time intimacy rising higher and higher uh, peaks than before, and this one uh, reaching above 17, uh, triggering another high spike of symptoms, uh, which brought intimacy down. But intimacy remains above self and achievement here, which means that she has entered stage one. Now, by the end of the second month, her intimacy has risen about 20 past 30 and then slowed down at 40. When it touched 40, it provoked another wave of symptoms is much less strong compared to previous spikes. And by then, self and achievement spheres were already rising above 10. By the end of the six months, when therapy ended successfully, uh, by the end of the fifth month, her intimacy uh, elements has reached 100, 10 times higher level. And then a score, uh, a scale was readjusted, with 100 becoming 10 and 50 becoming 5, the ten, uh, one tenth of the uh, uh, scale, and then uh, self-writing continued on that basis. She had one more crisis after uh, scale readjustment. After that, her, she entered stage four pattern with three spheres rising together uh, with little uh, therapeutic intervention. The therapy ended successfully. She did not meet any of the criteria of borderline personality disorder at this point, while she met every one of the nine criteria at the beginning of the therapy. After the therapy ended, uh, she continued to live with her boyfriend uh, quite successfully and happily. And then six years later, they informed me that they have decided to marry. Now, condition for success uh, for life track therapy for borderline personality disorders depend on several conditions. The first one is that the patient is suffering enough, so motiva motivated to change. Many of the borderline personality uh, patients have suffered grievously for a long period of time, having tried many unsuccessful treatments. So generally, they are well motivated. And an appropriate partner needs to be available. And then three-way teamwork has to be maintained for several months, guided by daily self-rating graphs. Uh, interestingly, patients with partners did 10 times better than single patients. This is borderline personality cases in terms of percentage of patients exceeding their previous best adjustment level of 10 according to their own assessment. 90 patients came without partners. Only 5.6% of them reached or exceeded 10. And then 134 patients with 
partners, 66.4%, 10 times more uh, patient reached or exceeded previous maximum of 10, typically far beyond symptom elimination. And outcome of uh, therapy with partners jumped after f first months of therapy. When the couple persisted beyond the first months, the outcome uh, jumped to 70.7% .7 from 9%. Uh, this percentage of patients exceeding 10. And then 735 when they persisted beyond second months. And 75.5% when they persisted beyond the third months. If you are interested uh, in life track therapy for borderline personality disorders, please call or visit my uh, lifetrack.com website for information. Thank you for your attention. Until next time.